Thanks for tuning in to today's broadcast. Vertical strength of your brothers. And Satan desires to sift you, sift you as we. He says, well, I'm praying that your faith fails not. He says, Satan is designed to break your faith down. He's, every day when he wakes up, who do we have on the docket to break their faith down? And, and he's going to, the devil's not like God. God loves mighty challenges. The devil's looking for the path of least resistance. Amen. And the trip is, for some of y'all, it's easy. All you got to do is present a circumstance. And your whole flow changes. You make a commitment to God. I commit to, I'm go, you know what? You know, I'm, getting my, I'm, I'm going to church. One circumstance come up, I can't go. One, not, not ten. One. You commit, uh, I'm a tithe to God. One circumstance come up, oh, can't do that. What do you think the devil's going to do? Make it, you see, what you're saying is, I can't do it this time, and once my finances free up, I'll be able to do it. But it's working for the devil. Why would he free up your finances? He's going to keep siphoning everything you got. And he's going to come to God accusing you. He's accused of the brethren, saying, well, look, I have access into all their finances. They're not in covenant with you. They're in covenant with me. So, yes, I know you have all these blessings for them, but according to your word, I got access. They believe me. They believe my ability to affect them more than your ability to affect them. So as an accuser, he goes, hey, like he came before Job, you got to give me access. And God is saying, I want to help, but you don't believe me. You won't let me in. Or like Terrell says, you won't use that, that universal key. Right. All right. So anyway, uh, uh, Matthew 11. Do y'all know that when y'all this word that y'all be listening to, you're going to be in situations where you have to use it. <coughs> you know, my players, we used to go through all this training, all these drills, all these fundamental drills, all this running and stuff like that. So then there'll be a tough game. And I will see the, 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 the despondent look on their face. And I was like, so what's that look for? You knew you was going to have to played this game, right? You know, the practice don't play for you. Oh, you was knocking down all those shots in practice. Woo, that drill, you hit about 17 threes in a row. You know you have to translate that on the court, right? Amen. You know, when you show up for, for a championship game, mm -hmm. you're not showing up for a forfeit, are you there? Absolutely not. You figure you're going to get the best, right? And you're excited because you get to bring out your best. But you don't go, man, they showed up. I was hoping they didn't come. Well, your life is the same way. You're being prepared for, to, to win a victory in your life. You don't think the demons and devils not going to show up, do you? But what you're saying is, whoa, he brought his best. I'm about to show, show everything that's in me. Right? That's how you're rolling, right? As opposed to, he here. He, on my, he attacking me. As opposed to what? What are you supposed to do? The trip is he always doing his job. Are we doing ours? Because we got the power. We can bind, loose. We can decree. Somebody talked about this. We decree, decree a thing. And it shall be established. There was that Jew. It was Jackie, right? Yeah. You could decree a thing. It was, it was that Job 22, 28, right? You could decree a thing. And it said, see, when the demand is placed on you, you start decreeing. You start binding, whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loosen. Are you, you stop binding and loosen? Oh, wrong house. Or do you shake? Demons show up. Do you go, ah! Or do you go, really? Do you want to do this today? I was playing against a guy in, uh, when I first moved to Ohio, and I could smell alcohol on him. And so we were playing, and obviously I destroyed him. Uh, I'm only saying obviously because he had, he's drunk. I mean, he wasn't drunk, but he had been drinking. And so he was like, man, I usually win all my games. I said, man, it's okay, man, don't feel bad. I said, you know, uh, you know, I probably just worked a little harder. I was really picking with him. Dude, I'm not going to let you beat me, and you can't even see clearly. I mean, it, it, it probably would have been a tougher game if you could see. But, but, but you got alcohol in you. That's just enough for, to impair your vision for you not to be able to get with me today. So in, in, in your case, the, the demon show will be like, man, I'm, just, I'm sorry. It's not my fault that I worked on my game more than you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
It's not your fault. It's okay. Just take another beating. Is that your attitude? Or you go, oh, he's attacking me. Right, okay. All right, so let's, let's uh, the thing about, re- oh, I, get, I went to Matthew, but we didn't talk, read it, right? Uh, verse 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon, upon you and learn of me. Look, for I am meek and lowly of heart, and you shall find rest for your souls. And uh, 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 one of the guys mentioned it this week, and I think it was uh, Ty. He was talking about uh, uh, interacting with his daughter, but he used something that we've shared here before, uh, learning to respond and not react. And see, when the scripture says, learn of me, I'm meek and lowly, what he's saying is, why are you reacting? See, the, the, the meek, Moses was considered meek. Why? Because he persuaded in return for attack. So his brother and sister attacked him, the people attacked him, but he interceded for them. Man, that's right. Lowly means humble. Mm-hmm. See, see, humility. I decrease so God can increase. Mm-hmm. So he's saying if you're decreased and you're not reacting, then you're allowing me to step in anytime you're attacked. You're allowing me to step in anytime you're attacked. He says, see, my yoke, yoke, uh, you know, is, we use some agriculture here, farming. So they would yoke up the two ox, ox, but they would have equal weight. So they can go straight because you have to plow that. Yeah, you guys are from down here, so I'm trying to tell y'all I'm from the city. Look, I'm from the city, you know. So let me teach you guys how to farm. No, I just, <laughs> I forgot where I was at, you know. Excuse me. I might be saying this wrong. No, that's not how you do it, Pastor. It's not like this. But anyway, for what I've been taught <laughs> and you've experienced, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, anyway, so, so, so you, 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 if, you, if you yoke them up and it's not an equal burden, then of course they're not going to go in a straight line because one, one will have less weight, so he may pull in a different direction, right? So, so he says, yoke up with me, right? And it'll be like you're not carrying any weight at all, right, is what he's saying. All right, so uh, let's, let's, uh, let me give you this too. Um, so, so, so we talked about is, is if you're not healed, you can't be rest. But you can't rest if you, if you don't embrace God's reality. See, 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 our rest is in reality. Listen, our rest is in reality. Uh, uh, Derek, you said, okay, I'm, I'm, I'll get to what Derek said this week. I told you I was going to use it again. Um, but what, what, what we've discovered is a lot of us aren't living in reality. Uh, uh, the reality may be you lazy but the whole time somebody's talking to you you know how you get defended if the word lazy even come up you know why you get defen- defensive not defended but defensive you know why you get defensive because you lazy right the reality may be you fat look 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 look, look. See, I see y'all like, like <laughs> who you think you're talking to I didn't say no names but the reality may be but why do you get all testy when, when fat gets mentioned, or, or, or you know, you're going to eat that extra toast? What, what, what you trying to say? I'm trying to say you're going to eat the extra toast. That's what I'm trying to say. What are you thinking? <laughs> right? You know how you get all like, ain't nothing wrong with eating no extra toast. I didn't say anything wrong with it. I just asked what you going to eat the extra toast. <laughs> see, see, there's a reality. The ra- reality may be you ain't tough at all. You're just afraid. So you snap because you don't want nobody to see the cracks. Right? The reality may be you need help with lust, but you're acting like it doesn't exist in your life. But behind the scenes, see, you have a compartmentalized life. You have the presentation, public presentation, and you have the private life. And the reality is what's in the dark comes to light. I'm, I'm 53, just turned 53 August 2nd. Guess what? It's always happened. Even on the soap operas. It always, what's in the dark comes to light. So you can't hide. Mm-hmm. Now, the, the, there's a, another reality. You, you can't hide, but you think you can. Like you're sitting in front of people and like, they don't see me. Yes, we do. Everybody sees it but you. 
They see your defensiveness. They see your insecurity. They see your fears. They see your funky. Right? But you're walking around like, they don't see me. No, we see you. And we see the fear. If we live it right, it's obvious. Oh, am I, am I getting too loud? Is that a little edgy? Okay. Just, yeah, I just... I got all this energy. I fasted, you know. I ain't got nothing wearing me down this week. Right? All right, so the, the, this is so, what's so tough is a lot of us are, want to be soothed but not really saved. See, see, we talk about salvation. Save me, Lord. Do you really want to be saved? Because to be saved, it may take you being challenged and broken. Amen. But you want to be soothed. Soothe me. And see, if, I don't, see, if we don't soothe you, then you run it. I don't know. This is something uncomfortable. It's just not, you know, just too, I, I, I just, I don't think that's necessary. That's not the godly way. God is kind. <coughs> Chastens whom he loves. We taught on this in June, you know, there's a, uh, there's a challenge inside of God. Mm-hmm. He challenges you. If you embrace the challenge, you're good. Mm-hmm. It's going to hurt. But he's like, ah, oh, he got he challenged me on this one. I'm gonna step it up, I'm gonna step it up. Mm-hmm. Whew, man, all right, Lord. I gotta get myself together. You good. But if you try to get around the challenge, mm-hmm. run from the challenge or fight against the challenge, guess what's coming? The chastening. That's right. <laughs> Amen. No kindness. The same God that let Jesus go on that cross and die. Mm-hmm. He didn't jump in. He let him go through his entire process. How come God just didn't jump in? He's in the garden asking him to. Let this cup pass for me. John died. That was just one of his closest disciples. Mm-hmm. Got his head cut off. How come Jesus didn't stop that? Ooh, you ain't think about that, did you? Judas hung himself. He let him hang himself. I shared this with you in June, but he let him hang himself. Mm-hmm. He let him hang himself. He didn't hang him. See, there's a challenge inside, and there's a chasing inside. If you don't embrace the challenge, God is assuming you want to be chastised. Mm-hmm. Amen. Now, you, you'll say, I can't believe he chastised me. You know, uh, as I was growing up, our son, these, this is what we do in the house. It's not, it's not deep. We, we're your parents. Our job is to prepare you for life, not to make you comfortable for you to be in your room. You can't live in your room. You're going to live in life. Comfortable today will crush you tomorrow. Amen. So we gave him, okay, this is th- to live here, this is how you roll. Mm-hmm. And then when he got old enough where he pretty much do what he want to do, you can do whatever you want to do. You just can't do it in the house. That's right. That's right. You can't do it in this house. Amen. I don't have a choice, you do. So the first time he had to leave the house, <laughs> you know, I was going somewhere with this. Mm-hmm. This dude was going around saying, yeah, yeah, uh, my, talking to my friends, because, you know, we, he, pl- I brought him along to play basketball with me, with me wherever, every place I played. So he's talking to my friends saying, yeah, my dad kicked me out. <laughs> Actually, we had a conversation. And in the conversation, I thought it was going well. My, uh, yeah, son, I hope this don't traumatize you to bring back up this moment. But so we, we're in the kitchen, we're talking. And it was good, I thought it was a good conversation. And all of a sudden, it, it shifted, you know, where he got, you know, I, I didn't flip. I, I, I kept looking at the door. He just got his chest went out again. I looked at the door. I said, there's no bars on the door. What I'm asking you to do, you have a choice now. I gave him a car. My car. I, I, we went to one car just so you could have a car. So, so I looked at the door. I said, listen, listen. when you walk through the door, no, locks don't just start locking up. Bars go up on the door. Like you got to have a passcode to get out. You know, security clearance. No, you can walk in and out of the door anytime you want. So guess what? Out of pride, you know what he did? He packed all his stuff. It was a little Subaru Jesty, little hatchback. Packed all, I didn't realize how many clothes we bought that boy, but he, <laughs> like, like, he packed all his clothes in that car and left. Out of pride, I mean, he left. But, but. Thanks for tuning in to today's broadcast. To view videos or make donations, feel free to access our website at www.heirscc.org.